Hello and welcome to the Sparker Yarn Crafts channel. My name is Will Sparker. I am your host and today is part three of episode 52. I'm going to give you a little bit about my shop updates for Sparker Yarn Co. Um, which you probably can't read because it's a little bright in here. Anyway, so I uh, just kind of want to go over a little bit about what's in the shop, what's coming to the shop, my plans as we kind of move forward through this weird time. Um, and if you are new to my dyeing business, a little bit about kind of what I offer and my, uh, uh, there's some payment things I want to go over. Um, so anyway, I have a few pattern kits available on the shop. Uh, if you go to the homepage of spargeryarn.com, the link is in the video description box below, um, you will see three different pictures kind of right at the top. Um, and we have Zach Stout's Check Yourself Wrap, that's a crochet wrap in DK weight. In the middle we have Tuacon, it's the Tuacon Shawl by Lori Wagner. It's a two skein fingering weight shawl. And then we have the Namu Sweater by Yu Ra, and uh, she is Knit Boop on Ravelry, and she's a good friend of mine. So there's a sweater kit, a shawl kit, and a wrap kit, uh, two knitting and one crochet. Those are available. You can actually click on the picture and it'll take you directly to the listing. Um, some of those you're going to have a choice of colorway and some of those you're going to have a choice of, um, no, I don't think any of them have a choice of base. I think the sweater allows you to choose either superwash or non superwash, but it's all worsted. Uh, the Tuacon shawl kit has three color options and it's all on our on the sock base which is an 85 percent superwash merino 15 percent nylon it's super soft and i love working with it um, and there are three color options for that that i'm going to go over in a minute and then for the check yourself wrap that is dk weight and it is 100 percent superwash merino uh, that is the only base for that since the pattern is in dk weight um, but then you have a choice of some color options that Zach and I put together ourselves. And uh, for the Tuacon shawl, that's the colors that Lori and I put together. And then the Namu sweater is just kind of, if you want whatever colorway that I had of, uh, in terms of semi-solids, whatever I had available at the time, I actually needed to go in and edit that so that you could have some additional options. Anyway, so for the Tuacon shawl, that's the newest release using Sparger Yarn Co. Yarn. Um, again, Lori is a really good friend of mine. She's an amazing designer. I met her a few years ago at Stitches SoCal when we were both featured designers for Leading Men Fiber Arts. So um, you can, I will remember to leave her Instagram handle in the video description box below and uh, you can go and follow her and see all about that. But it's a beautiful, beautiful shawl. I'm very pleased with the work she has done. She's an incredible designer, an incredible person. She's so lovely. Um, so you can see pictures of the shawl. Actually, I'll probably add one here while I'm talking about it. The shawl is pictured uh, in the 12 drummers and there is always hope selection. 12 drummers is the nice plum kind of colorway. And then the there is always hope is kind of a neutral white with gold speckles. Uh, so that's the first option. The second option is moss, which is this colorway. And then this one, oh my god, I forgot the name of my own colorway. Something about trees and snow or something. And trees, it's brown speckles. So moss with uh, brown speckles. <laughs> I should probably remember those next time. Um, and then <laughs> the third color option is oxblood. And then this is called the plowed street snow. It's gray. It's like really dark gray speckles on white. So it's plowed street snow. Um, so I could have probably called this Cardinals because it kind of reminds me of Cardinals back home in the snow because Cardinals are actually not seasonal. They actually do continue to um, <laughs> exist during the winter. So they're out and about even in the snow back in Kentucky where I'm from. Um, but since this was already in my inventory, we're just going to stick with Oxblood. I'm not going to change the name of it now. Um, but that is the third color option. If you don't like that color option uh, or those three choices, you can choose from any of the uh, colorways that are in the shop. Most of the semi-solids are dyed to order, so I'll dye it as soon as the order comes in. Um, so that way you're getting uh, 
especially if you're ordering more than one, you're getting colors that match because every batch can vary. Um, so that's an option if you want to knit that. Um, and again, that kind of goes for any of them. If you see something you like better, uh, you can always order something different. Um, now the kit for Tuacon is 45, but the bases start at 25 a piece. So if you were to order something that's not one of the colors, uh, one of the kits, it is $5 more. But if you are trying to order specifically for that shawl, let me know. I'll work it out with you, obviously, because that's the nice thing to do, right? Um, so I wanted to show you also some of the semi-solid semi colorways that I have on the shop. This isn't going to be all of them. It's just the ones that I kind of have test gains for still, um, basically what's still in stock. I'm going to turn around here. Um, so the first one here I'll show you, this is 12 drummers. Um, this is kind of the plum colorway. There's a lot of beautiful depth in here. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful semi-solid, and I, I think you would absolutely love this. Um, I was going to call this 12 Drummers Drumming, but for some reason that title just doesn't want to fit in any of the formatting on my site. So um, this is actually from my holiday collection from uh, last year, and I just, I really loved the color, so I, I brought it back as kind of a permanent. But there's like, there's these gorgeous kind of red undertones in there. It's just, ugh. It's so, so pretty, so pretty. And then this is Depths. It's a nice blue with some deeper purple undertones in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. This is on a non-superwash base. It's gorgeous how well, this uh, how well this yarn took this up. This is Stout as in Zach Stout. Uh, this is kind of a yellowish green, very bright color. It actually almost matches his logo exactly for his podcast. So this is Stout. This was dyed for him. This was dyed during the time that he came out with his Check Yourself Wrap Kit. And this is actually one of the color selections for that kit. Um, but it is also a semi-solid uh, selection on the shop. And the last one I have here which is undoing itself. This is called Blood Moon. It is a kind of fluorescent fuchsia orange. It's very, very bright. It's, it's like if you could have a neon pink orange, that's what this would be. It's very bright, very, very gorgeous. I love dyeing this colorway. Um, yeah, and this is on the DK weight base. This is just, this is gorgeous. I love this. And then I have two of those dyed on mohair to show you. So I have Blood Moon and Depths here on mohair. The funny thing is the mohair actually took up the dye more. So the mohair is darker than the skein. And I think that's just because there's less there to work with. But like, look at the difference there in Depths. Same amount of dye, same, same everything. But because they're, you know, this is a smaller yarn, uh, it's just, uh, it's gorgeous. So yes, mohair is an option for semi-solids if that's what you were looking for. Um, other things that are coming to the shop, I am working on bags that have removable straps so that if you're using project bags and you just want to use it at home and you're not going to be traveling with it, you can just take the straps off and you can even keep them in the bag and you don't have to worry about it. But if you do want to travel with that project, there are straps that you can attach to D-rings on the outside of the bag and you can travel with that project. And uh, those will be coming to the shop in various prints soon. And then I'm also toying with the idea of some pillows that you could keep in like your craft area, various prints as well, of course, on those. Um, but I am looking for some craft specific prints so that they would look really great in your craft area, craft room, craft nook, craft corner, craft chair, whatever. But I um, have travel pillows, which are a little bit more rectangular. 
and then square pillows as well. Um, so I'm working on kind of playing with that idea. So if that's something that you're interested, leave me a comment below and let me know if that was, if that's something that you would pick up, um, or if that was something you'd want for yourself or maybe for a friend as a gift. I think pillows make great gifts. I personally would love to have infinite comfort items. So pillows are a great gift for me. Uh, so that's something I'm toying with. I haven't made a full decision on whether or not I'm going to add it to the shop, but if it's something that you think would be fun to add, uh, let me know in the comments section below and uh, I'll consider more about that idea. All right, that's what I have coming to the Sparger Yarn Co. shop here very, very soon and uh, what's already available right now. So I hope you'll at least go and check it out. Uh, the last thing that I really want to cover is that um, I know that sometimes kits can be expensive, especially sweater kits if you're a bigger person like I am, because uh, I would need probably about eight skeins of yarn to knit a sweater, and that can get very pricey very quickly. If you are interested in a kit and it's just a little bit out of your budget range, I would um, ask that you try Afterpay. Afterpay is a service that is already on my website at, and it's available at checkout. Afterpay is a service that has no credit and no interest. Basically, you just sign up for an account, you put your card information in, and then you go to my store. You put it whatever you want in the cart, and when you go to check out, you choose installments with Afterpay. It's going to split it up into four payments. All you have to do is pay the first payment at time of order. It's going to cover the other three are going to come every two weeks after that. Again, no interest and no credit. So it really so if you want a hundred dollars of yarn and after fifty dollars shipping is free. So if you get a hundred dollars of yarn, it's a hundred even. You're going to pay twenty five dollars to check out and then you're gonna take $25 out every uh, two weeks after that. So that is a great way to split up larger purchases, and I offer that to you uh, as a way for you to uh, consider making larger purchases if it's something that you want, but your budget doesn't always allow you to do so. Like personally, I have, the sweater I showed earlier this week is probably the first sweater I've knit out of natural fibers because natural fibers are expensive for sweaters. Um, so I, I, I get it. I totally get it. So that is a service that is available to you. And I encourage you to use that whenever. The only thing is you do have to have a minimum purchase of $35, but 35 and above, you can split that into four easy payments and they do come out automatically. And Afterpay has been great. I've used it myself, um, on other stores. They always let you know when your next payment is coming out. They give you like two or three days warning in advance and they'll let you know when the payment was successfully made. You can go in and pay early if you want to. Uh, it, it really is a great service. So, and the other thing is you don't have to wait to pay it off for me to send it to you because um, the order will have been completed and I can ship it to you as soon as I get the order ready and processed. So you don't have to wait eight weeks for your product. I can ship it to you immediately. Afterpay will pay me and then you pay Afterpay. So it, it's, it's a really, it's kind of a win-win for everybody. So um, I encourage you to check that out if, um, if you see something that you really want, it's just a little bit out of your budget. Uh, again, that's a service I add or that I have for you guys because I want you to be able to, you know what, we all need a little retail therapy, right? I've been shopping on Amazon a little too much, uh, <laughs> but uh, that is there for you. Thank you so much. I hope that um, you like some of the things I've talked about with my shop. Let me know if you have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see. Um, if you're familiar with the shop and maybe there's a base or something that you would like me to find. Uh, I'm still not great on the whole dyeing cotton thing. I don't really like cotton to begin with, but it requires a whole separate set of dyes and everything. And I have a very, very, very small space for dyeing. Um, so plant-based fibers, we're gonna have to wait a little bit, but if there's a animal-based fiber that you would like to see in the shop, let me know and I'll see what I can do about getting that. All right, uh, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all again very, very soon here on the Sparker Yarn Crafts podcast channel. Thanks, bye.